Okay, so um, Osafulabi, now we've touched on um, some of the preparations sure. um, before marriage. But um, let's say I've started courtship mm -hmm. with my partner or I'm in a relationship okay. with him. Am I supposed to be spending night with him, okay. going to do some cooking for him, okay. washing his items? Because some people believe that this is a time to know each other. Mm -hmm. uh, marriage is a lifetime yeah. thing and people pretend yeah. until you get to be with the person yeah. you wouldn't know the true character yes. of, of of your partner is it advisable mm -hmm. to spend nights with your partner or go to his house alone okay. to do anything for him okay uh, thanks for this question oh. i i am into this marriage equation mm -hmm. and the challenge now has got to do with how individuals are able to move with their will-be partners. Okay. They end up messing up. And at the end of the day, God's purpose for that union is actually distorted. Okay. We are not yet married. You would want to know everything about me. Nanekuya, up till now, my wife doesn't know me 100%. I don't know her 100%. How many years now? Uh, we are entering into our 10th year. Because for each day, a new attitude and behavior springs up okay. according to the will of Elohim. Okay. Because you grow in the things of God. So sometimes you chisel off a lot of things, you take up a lot of things. So you, you will not be able to know me just by sleeping in my house, staying with me, mm -hmm. cooking, washing my clothes and all that. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying you cannot visit. Mm -hmm. But as a child of God, who has made heaven your goal, whilst visiting, be wise. Visit during daytime. Okay. Take someone along. If we're a lady coming, come with a friend, a lady friend. Okay. If we're a gentleman going to visit, go with a gentleman, a friend. And then... Make sure you don't visit at odd hours. Mm. Some pretend, some are fake. By the time you realize they have messed up your life. So therefore, you can visit. But to be washing and cooking, you have already married. <laughs> <laughs> you have already married. To be sleeping there, you have already married. It means you don't have conscience. If you could sleep in a man's room, wake up, take your bath and walk out to your house. So calling yourself a child of God, Nana, then you don't have conscience. Because what how will people think about you? How will your own spirit minister interpretation to you with regards to the act you have just performed? Can you stay with a man in a room and nothing happens and you just walk out? You and the man who is more important. You are the one more important. Therefore, you secure yourself, protect yourself, because for all you know, this man is just uh, running his mouth around you. This woman is just running her mouth around you. And when they get you, it's a blackmail, something for them. Hmm. So we ought to be very wise. Okay. You can, you see, the Bible says that the spirit of man is a candle of God. Okay. God speaks to our spirit. Okay. Uh, uh, did I uh, did we ever meet before meeting today? No, no, but how did we know each it's other? If we've ever met before, uh -huh. but before we met, the Lord has revealed something to you and to me. Yeah. I saw you, yeah, you also yeah, saw you've me. never met me, uh -huh. but you tell me things yes. about myself. <laughs> sure. So, to know somebody doesn't take physical interaction or meeting, I know for in uh, for or in a percentage wise mm. 
some percentage goes into that you need to physically know the person but if you want to know the true caliber of a person it is by spiritual dimensions okay. yes god reveal all the intents god reveal all the mysteries and secrets about the person to you okay. <laughs> so that is what i would say about this okay. one many say that i mean some people will say that god is not going to come from heaven to bring your life back exactly now. Definitely, you need to pray and also shine your eyes, open your eyes yes. whilst praying. Yeah. We hear some of these yeah. things. Uh, how do I know, uh, when it comes to marriage, how does God speak? Okay. Do I have to see him, speak to me in a dream, show me someone? What are some of the ways he passed through to speak to us? Thank you. The other time, Peter, in a trance, saw God lowering animals israelites were not supposed to eat they were forbidden yeah so in a trance god can give you a direction okay then we see from genesis chapter 24 about abraham and his servant mm -hmm. the servant didn't believe in the god of abraham so okay. you look at the chapter the verses over then you realize that anytime the servant prayed he said the god of abraham not the yeah. god of me okay <laughs> the god of yes very sure. true and he said that uh, while when i get to mesopotamia the woman are works of water if the woman should so he gave some conditions uh, conditions if the woman or who say that you would want to feed my camels. <laughs> then she's the one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you see, and it was just as planned by God. Wow. Could you believe that he was with 10 camels? A camel takes 53 gallons of water, 200 liters. So, and the camels were 10. So 200 times 10 is hmm. 2,000 liters. If it is per gallon, 53 gallons, 53 times 10, 530 gallons. And Rebecca was feeding them like that because God had already conditioned it. God directs you, Nana. Uh, he directs. Now, in a dream, in Joel 2:28, we see the Lord touching on dream as a gift. Okay. It is the tunnel through which God speaks to man. Okay. Nebuchadnezzar had it freely. A tunnel through which God speaks to man. This world will get to an end. Nebuchadnezzar has something to say about this end through the image he saw and all that yeah. and, the, and the interpretation Daniel gave. Even though he was a heathen, he wasn't a believer. So dreams are there. Mm. Then intuition. Okay. God can deposit a kind of burden. Sometimes we call it a staring. Okay. A kind of burden in your, in your spirit man, mm. giving you direction. Those with that gift, they understand how the Lord leads them. Yeah. He can speak, speak to you audibly. God can speak to you audibly. Uh, 22nd August 2002, that was the day I got born again. Wow. I heard his voice. Clear. Uh, clear. I heard his voice. So he can speak. He speaks. Others are with that grace mm -hmm. and they can hear. Sometimes too, through agape love, unconditional love, okay. God will not show you anything. But the love for that fellow is so strange. Not a hurting laugh, not a damaging laugh, but laugh filled with patience, love with security, love with patience, protection, love which is which is understandable. He leads you with that kind of love. Mm. And when the Lord leads you in that way, you, you know this is coming from Elohim. Yeah. <laughs> because he is your father. The way he communicates to you, you, you get it. So these are some of the and then the word of God too. Yeah. God can direct you, God can inspire you. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 21. That was the quotation the Lord used to get me my wonderful wife. Wow. I was holding the crusade at EG. It was after the ninth crusade, I decided to do a devotion. Mm -hmm. So I was reading Isaiah 30 verse 21. For you will hear a voice behind you telling you to turn to the left or to the right. <laughs> wow. Yes, he can also direct you in that way through the scriptures. So these are, the Lord has been directing people just that they are blind to the direction. Very true. That is it. Very true. All right. So uh, now um, I'm ready okay. for marriage. Okay. How do I test for um, the conviction Good. for the world being partner? Good. Now, just as you asked the first question, mm. uh, you you are not going to base your evidence only on spiritual matters. Yeah. That is why God gave us the uh -huh. eye to see, to watch. Because the man God chose for you today can change tomorrow. Mm. 
Mm. That was why God said, I've regretted making Saul a king. Mm. God regretting. So it how was much a serious more statement. Here? How much more you? So you need to, I said, by their fruits, you will know them. know them. You need to watch them with keen eyes, mm. monitor them, observe them. They are doing the way they react to issues. You can even watch their secret lives. You can, you can know it. You can know it because mm. you carry the love of God. And however He will direct you to look at, to watch, to measure, mm. it's just, it just flows like that. Okay. So you can, you can do so. Okay.